um, it's home. It's home. So this is where I learned to be who I am today. And uh, one thing about me is that I am not a people person. I before oh before not now I'm a people person before I wasn't a people person I had the fear of social media um it's not that I didn't know what to say it was just I was camera shy uh why would I go on and talk in front of a camera like it's just not me uh but uh when I decided to just start the network marketing um there was no way to grow your business without social media, especially nowadays. So I, when I started, I kid you not, and I, we had a call with our platinum executives yesterday on a selling them. When I started my social media journey, I had, I kid you not, 300 followers on Instagram. And I didn't even have a TikTok. Like I didn't even... I wasn't even the person to go on TikTok and scroll on TikTok and watch TikTok. I didn't have it. And uh, people kept telling me it's going to grow. It's going to take time. You just need to post. You just need to do the trends. You just need to do this and that. And a part of me was okay. You know, I got to do what I got to do. My appliances are telling me to do so. They know best. So I, I went with the flow. But was I passionate about being on my stories passionate about dancing on tiktok absolutely not it wasn't for me but i was stuck for the longest time in my business because it wasn't me i had to make it a part of me you know i had to be able to do it not because my mentor is telling me to do it it's because i wanted to do it it's because i know for a fact in a month or two months my followers are going to grow my TikTok is going to grow. I'm going to impact more lives. That's how I looked at it. So you need to keep in mind whenever you want to start your, your social media, you need to be wanting to start social media. I can't force, for example, Christine and tell her, you have to show up on your story. Okay, she is going to show up on her story. But if I don't sense through her, that she's actually passionate about what she's saying. When she tells her story, she's actually vulnerable. She, If I can't sense that, then it's not good. It's not doing her any good. It's not. She's just doing it to say, I did it. Like, yeah, you, great job. No, it's not like that. You need to do it for you. And trust me, the first time might be hard. The second time might be okay. But the third time, it's just going to come out you're going to speak everything that's on your mind. It's, it's easy. And uh, I honestly, when I told you I was stuck, I was stuck for the longest time in my business, like for, I think nine months, I wasn't moving. Like I, I was getting people started. I, I had a team, I, I did all that, but I was still stuck at a certain point. And that's when I realized that I had to change something. Something has to change. And it was TikTok. TikTok is something I was not consistent with. And the most important part of building your, your network marketing business is not your product. It's not the opportunity. It's not. It's expanding your reach and growing your network. You need to understand that. It's expanding your reach and growing your network. A lot of times we get focused on the five people that we're talking to. Who here only talks to the same people over and over again? A lot of users focus on these five people or 10 people that you're talking to. And we spend our time talking to them and getting drug along at month after month. And at the end of the day, when they all say no, then we have no one else to talk to, right? We literally have no one else to talk to. So how do you grow your business when you haven't talked to everyone, when you talk to everyone that you know? That's why today I want to kind of dive in into social, the social media platform that pretty much is going to have you reach thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Do you guys know that the number one social media platform right now is TikTok? It is TikTok. It's not Instagram. It's TikTok. With a short, like, 7 to 15 minute video, or even a minute video, it, it's out, it's out, it's better 
you're going to get a better reach than Facebook. You're going to get a better reach than Instagram. You're going to get better reach than your reels. You're going to get better reach than Snapchat. And a lot of you think that it's too late to get on this TikTok uh, boat. A lot of you say, no, there's a lot of people that are now famous on TikTok. It's too late for me to join. That's what I thought. You guys need to keep in mind that TikTok is moving in an upward trend. And it's going to keep continuing to grow. I personally think it have, we didn't even start yet. We didn't even start yet. It's literally something that I have never, ever seen before. When it comes to growing your network, people make the mistake of only focusing on their warm market. And it's good in the beginning. You, yes, you need to focus on your warm market. But if you want to 10x your business, you have to focus on your network daily and getting outside of your warm market. You know, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you signed up all your warm market. They all signed up with you. They all got started. What's next? What are you going to do? Where are you going to have leads? Where are you going to have your prospects? You don't have any. This is why I love TikTok, because it's the perfect, perfect place to do that. Because TikTok is, they're very effective in getting your videos in front of millions of people, not a thousand people, millions of people. People you don't know will start to follow you. They will start commenting on your videos. They, you will have strangers buying from you and joining your team. Okay. This platform literally is different than all the other platforms because um, you don't have to spend so much time engaging. You don't have to spend a lot of time engaging or building your influence and relationship with the prospect. It's happening on its own. People will start buying from you and follow you without having to spend so much time hanging out with you. You know, it's already done. But how are you going to do that? The first thing that you guys need to do, look, you have to stay consistent. We always say it and we always repeat it because it is, it is something that you have to do is you have to stay consistent. You have to post consistently every day. It doesn't matter if you're posting once a day or three times a day. I promise you. Yes, we. the more you're out there, the better. But it does not matter if you're posting once a day or three times a day. It doesn't matter what time you post. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be all bougie. No, it doesn't. You can start very basic and your content will still be out there. Go look. I want you guys to go look at my TikTok. Do you see anything bougie? I know. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't have time to make it bougie. <laughs> I really don't have time to make it bougie. And I know in the beginning it's overwhelming, especially when you're getting started. But I want you guys not to overthink it. Just start simple and stay consistent. That's it. I I post once a day. Once a day. 4 a.m. in the morning. 4 a.m. in the morning. I set an alarm every single day, 4 a.m. in the morning, and I post one TikTok. Any, you guys need to know that any video can go viral at any time. I, this is, this, I experience this with my team and I always tell them like, no, is a lot of you delete any videos when it has low views. You could have one video go viral and one that gets a lot of views and all of a sudden people are coming and seeing your other videos. And then your other videos are going to start going viral. But what I see is that a lot of people want to hide the posts that get low views or just delete them. You have to completely forget. You don't, you can't have that mindset. You just can't. I want to go and see your growth. I personally want to go and see your growth. I don't want to see that, oh, you just, you know, when there's one video that went viral and she just, you know, stopped posting or he stopped posting. You're trying to grow your audience. You want to get real followers. Like people are excited to see that you're posting something new. 
so don't hide i pro- look there was a video um a couple of months ago that i posted and he went viral after three weeks three freaking weeks i never thought about it like i i, I forgot about the video but when i saw my phone blowing up i'm like i i remember i messaged christian i'm like this video has been three weeks old just because it was there it went viral imagine i imagine i hit that video or i deleted that video i honestly wouldn't have gotten to platinum ambassador I wouldn't. And in the beginning, when I started TikTok, I used to hide my video. I didn't delete them. I hid them. So I I did the same thing. But I thought that was actually not. That's not smart. That was not smart. So I don't want you guys deleting. Let people see who you are. Let people see your growth. Even if you're not getting any views right now, it will get better. It will get better. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let me finish. Okay. And honestly, one thing also that you guys need to keep in mind is that you don't have to spend every single day making videos. Every single day. You need to pick a day. Fridays, honestly, I think is the best day to, to make your content because it's a very, it's, it's a slow day for everyone in the business it's just like that people get paid you know it's been a long week people take it slow on friday so choose a day and make a batch of content i'm not forcing you to do it once you can do it multiple times a week but it's just better you keep all these videos in your drafts once you have a bunch of videos All you got to do, it's a matter of you only pulling up these videos, putting in the words, adding in the hashtags, and you're bam, done. The more videos you create, the faster and easier for you it will be to edit them. It will help you, the process become less overwhelming. It will help you stay consistent even when you don't have time. So me, for example, I don't worry, oh, I throughout the week oh i have to you know film oh i'm not in the mood oh i'm not you know i'm not gonna post today i don't have that anymore because i have it in my drafts whenever i feel like it i can post it it's ready i edit them all too and keep them in my drafts so it's a matter of you pressing just post that's it the hashtags are ready everything is ready it's gonna save you a lot of time that's how you're gonna be consistent And then another thing is mm-hmm. <clears throat> be true to yourself. How do you find hashtags? I will answer your question, Barilla. TikTok, you guys, is a place where you can let your hair down 100 freaking percent. You can put your hair down 100 percent. A lot of people feel like they can't be themselves on social media. Mm-hmm. And they ha- that they have to show up a certain way. You put on the filters and you think of, yeah, you, you just say, I can't say this and I can't say that. And I have to say this and I have to say that. You need to understand on TikTok, it's, there is millions, millions of people. It's a place where you're going to find a lot of weird stuff. Funny stuff, sad stuff, vulnerable stuff everything you're gonna see a lot it's a place where you put your stuff out there the good day the bad day Uh, you're gonna see parents you're gonna see people who work a nine to five job you're gonna see everything there's a lot of times where you know i watch a video and think to myself wow i've never seen something like that i never thought of of it that way so i really encourage all of you to just be you be true to yourself you know, um, when I first when I first knew about TikTok, honestly, what I thought was I got to dance to make it on TikTok. I got to do this and that, you know, I, I, I can't. That's not me. That's not who I am. I'm just lying to myself at that point. I, I found what I was good at is speaking through TikTok. 
And I'm going to give you guys examples towards the end. Okay? So you need to be true to yourself. Stop overthinking. Stop. The more you, look, the more you overthink about something, it won't, it, it won't, it, I'm not telling you the goal is for it to go viral, but it won't go viral if you overthink the video. Okay. And then you need to also keep in mind that we need to get the right exposure. To help your videos get more views and exposure, you'll want to use like it, I'm not I'm not against like trending videos. Like see what's out, like see what's out there. I'm not telling you do the exact same, just see what's out there. What are people doing when it comes to this niche, like the trading and the investing and the online business? See what's trending. What's the trending music? But put your own spin to it. I never. I never copy someone word for word. I never do that. Put your own spin to it. And you have to be intentional with your hashtags. I'm sorry. You can't be talking about online business and trading and investing and put a hashtag for cooking. Hello. <laughs> no. I see a lot of people using random hashtags and it's it's just not going to help you. The purpose of hashtags on TikTok is to make it so people can search a specific content. Like hashtags are used to get in front of groups of people. So I want you to think of who you want your content to be in front of. Because TikTok is going to show the audience size based on your hashtags. So you, you guys won't believe how many people like put the word online business or work from home or how can I make money from home? So when people search that, they're going to see you. But people that are looking for cooking and you put cooking and they see their video, they're just going to skip through it. It's not uh, that's not what I'm looking for. So you need to make sure that you're getting the right exposure and that's by using the right hashtags. And you guys need to keep in mind that going viral is not the goal. It, I know it should be, but it's not the goal. It's not. Because going viral isn't going to make or break your influence or your following. What's going to help you in your business is showing up consistently, using what, leveraging what's trending right now, using the right hashtags, using call to action. That's what's going to help you. I'm telling you, a video can go viral out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Now, look, me doing all this me doing all this you're talking about when did I start I started in after I started in May we are in October May June July August six months you're talking about six months I stayed consistent with TikTok I went from 4,000 I grew my Instagram from 3,000 followers from 300 followers to 4,000 followers when I since I started the business but from May until today my Instagram right now is close to 30,000 30,000 followers and I just about to hit 50,000 on TikTok you're talking about five six months period of time Now, did I ever imagine that TikTok can do this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> but it did. But it did. And you know why? Because I was consistent. Because I didn't overthink. Because I used the right hashtags. Because I targeted the right people. Because I attracted people with things that I said. Look. I can't show up on TikTok. You can't show up on any social 
media platform and look tired or exhausted or you just can't people sense that why like if i'm looking for example like christine and i look and she's like yeah you can have multiple sources of income online through the financial markets i'm not gonna even try to message you but when you go up there you're like hey my name is noor i started my online business two years ago uh, i have multiple sources of income online i have a team of a thousand people i travel the world with my team um if you want to learn more make sure to message me on instagram i have energy people love energy people love excitement that's what people want to see your posture needs to be amazing your confidence needs to be up to, on the roof to the roof when i tell when i tell people to duplicate me and i watch what they do i'd be like let me be honest would you join i will play the video would you message you would you watch yourself would you message you or no i have to be i'm not telling you i have to be transparent i have to be honest would you message you or no if you say no, then the video is not good. The video is just simply not good. I'm not telling you to overthink the video. I'm not telling you to overthink the video. I'm just telling you, show belief when you speak. Show belief when you speak. Why did it? Okay. When I was posting on TikTok, when I started the business, why weren't people messaging me? Because I had the wrong posture. I didn't have a posture. I wasn't confident because I was too much in my head because I'm not as good as um, Christian or I'm not good as Rosanna. Because when I see them, I want to watch them. I want to keep watching them. But me, I was like, you know, sitting in my own bubble. I'm shy and I'm just like, you know. I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Am I going to post it in the builder's chat? Am I going to get engagement or not? This is how I used to think. But I'm at a point, I'm telling you, don't. I don't care. I don't care. I am going to do my part. I am going to show the people that I'm passionate about what I do, that I believe in what I do. I have energy. I told this story yesterday to our Platinums. There is a guy. Um, he is he he is a, a big entrepreneur. He is in Pennsylvania. And he's like, look, I am not the type of person. He didn't even message me to join the business. He just messaged me to because he was shocked. He was like, look, I'm always on TikTok and I'm scrolling on TikTok and I'm watching these people who talk about businesses and, you know, get into like product, like um, what's it called? E-commerce or trading and investing. But it's just like, it's, I'd never seen something special or someone with confidence. I felt like, you know, people will just, you know, flirt with this girl or, you know, bash this guy. That's how it was. But when I saw your video, your posture is what I liked. Your confidence is what I liked. And I'm messaging you. I would like to get on a call with you because I want to know what is it that exactly that you do? Why are you so passionate? Through, what is it that you're so passionate about? I honestly, people don't know what I'm doing a lot on TikTok because I don't give it away. I, I usually talk just online income. That's it. Um, and that's why people always reach out. But he was even, he wanted to know what I did. Or what is it that I do that I'm so passionate about it, that I speak with so much confidence? I kid you not, I sit with the guy two hours on the phone, two hours on a Zoom call. He was like, I've never, I've never messaged a person. I just never believed in that. So posture is, is important. It's very important. So... I want to see we have here also what is your TikTok I will send it in the 
in the chat we've question do we have to post at the same time every day no mm -mm, you don't look i know who i'm targeting i am targeting the middle east i'm targeting the arabs i'm targeting the europeans so i just like i try to think about it 4 a.m is perfect why for me because that's almost like 11 12 their time people are on their lunch break people are maybe off of school like they're up they're not sleeping you know people are on their phone so that's when i post it doesn't mean i have to post every no you can it doesn't matter the the day the, the time doesn't matter at all just post stay consistent it doesn't matter um and then we have how do you find hashtags look I'm not gonna tell you I go and Google what hashtags to use. I honestly use the same hashtags I've used since I started TikTok, you know, but it is targeted. Like it is trading, um, online business, uh, travel, um, marketing, um, affiliate marketing, make money from home. These are the kind of hashtags that I use. I don't use anything else. I never have I ever changed the hashtags that I use. You can go and check every single video. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Um, these are the kind of th things that you um, need to, to look for. So I'm talking in the Middle East. You think the best time is 4 a.m.? Yeah. 4 a.m. is... four Between 3 and 5 a.m. is the best time to target the Middle East. The best time. If you're targeting North America... Then you need to think of lunchtime here between 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Or when people start after dinner between 7 and 8 o'clock. Or when people start going to bed between 10 and 12 o'clock in the morning. So you need in the beginning, in the beginning of your social media, you need to start, you have to test. How did I figure out that 4 o'clock was the best time? It's because I tested. I used to post at one day at 12, one day at three, one day at four, different times to see what worked best for me. See what works best for me. And then I will tell you one thing. When it comes to TikTok, a lot of you said we need to have new content. Okay. There was a period of time I genuinely, genuinely did not have even an hour to film anything nothing i have a son who's three i i sometimes i really don't have the time he won't allow me to even sit on and hold my phone so it is okay it is okay for you to repost something that you posted again but you can't say i oh i don't have any content oh i'm not gonna post today no Take a video that you've posted in the past, repost it again. I promise you, the last video that I posted last week was hectic. This week, like, yes, I filmed TikToks yesterday, but last week was hectic. I posted uh, a TikTok that I posted when I first launched the Arab world. I posted it last week, and that video is close to a million now. A million views. Same video. When the first time it didn't barely got any views, this time it almost a million views. So I need you guys to stop making excuses. That's the thing. A lot of you make excuses. I can't post. Oh, I don't have content. Oh, I don't post anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. Yes, I will tell you one thing. The most effective TikToks that I have seen is the speaking videos but there are times where i just can't speak i don't i don't feel it and i don't want people to sense that i'm not okay so i go with something that you know i've seen on tiktok like for example the if you can't make ten thousand dollars you can make ten thousand dollars a month i would put me on stage or me you know traveling or some some pictures that i have i put them together and i do the the editing I write the words, put the hashtags, and post it. But there is no excuse for me not to post once a day. You can't tell me you don't have 
three minutes of your day to post because that's how long it takes. Three minutes. Editing in the beginning can be hard. I was struggling with editing the videos, writing the words and all that. But then right now, it's a piece of cake. It doesn't take me anything. It literally doesn't take me anything. And I will tell you any one thing. Do not post a video with not a call to action. Do not do that. I always, every single video of mine has a call to action. Either message me on Instagram or follow for more. Message me on Instagram or follow me for more. And that's how I grew my Instagram. I wasn't worried about my Instagram, by the way. I didn't. That was not my focus. My focus was my TikTok. Because if I grow my TikTok, my Instagram is going to grow. That's how it is. If you always mention your Instagram on your TikToks, you can guarantee that your Instagram going to grow by itself. So one thing to to wrap up is be who you are stay consistent the goal is not to go viral all the time the goal is not to go viral stop overthinking every single thing that you're doing on tiktok just stop like right now when you're sitting go film something doesn't matter y'all look good so go film something And look, this is something that we had in our, well, in the culture since I've joined and I've seen is that share what you do in our chats. The reason I don't share is because I, like I share with the Arabic team because my content is in Arabic, but share what you do on, in the chats. Let us see, you know, by posting in the chat, this might actually help you go viral do it for yourself because you're telling the team to go and watch your tiktok you're gonna get more likes you're gonna get more comments comments and likes is what drives your tiktok to go out more and more respond to all the comments Respond to all the comments, like all the comments. It pushes your video out there more. I promise you, that's what happens. You can't see a comment and just ignore it or delete it. Don't delete comments unless it's really, really bad. I don't delete anything. I just put a smiley face. If it bothers me, I put a smiley face. But it pushes my content out. So put post, post, make it, make it. This is our culture. So be a part of it. Post your TikToks on our, our builder strat. Show people what you're doing. You never know. You might get an idea from someone. You might get an idea from someone. That's This is actually how I got I, the idea to start my Arabic TikTok. is from one of the leaders, Coach Hiba. She used to post in Arabic and I got inspired. I was like, I can do this too. But I put my my spin on it. Because you need to do it your own way. That's it. Thank you, Habibi. That's it. So here's a challenge for all of you. Can we do a ch- ch- Christian, can we give him a challenge or no? Yes. Yes. We have 27, well, 20, 27 people on the call. It's a Saturday. I don't think we have any more calls. Can we do one TikTok today and post it in the chat? Can we do one TikTok and post it in the chat? That's it. I'm not going to tell you what to say. Anything, 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 motivation. When I talk about the business, you can talk about one post with a call to action in the end. With a call to action in the end. That's it. But I want it done. Like it has to be done. 27 people. We know who's on the call. So I'm expecting these people to to post. To take 15 minutes of your day. Just post one and see how it goes. 
people are home today people are on tiktok so you'll get views <laughs> so we're good christian is watching i'm watching we're all watching so we're holding you accountable if you really wanna look if you really wanna change your business if you want to improve this is the time we are in the last um, two months oh, we're close to two months we need to end the year strong very very strong this is the best time i remember this time last year this is the best time okay if you posted already one, post one more. Absolutely. The challenge is for everyone. I don't care what you did today. I'm gone. It's, it, the, the day starts after this call. So you post from now. We want to see a post now. Okay. Good. We're good to go. Thank you so much, champions. I appreciate you hopping on this call. I hope this helped. I hope, I know for a fact, your, your followers are going to, you know, it's it's going to get there. I love all of you. Let's apply and uh, we'll see you next week.